welcome to my channel if you're new welcome back if you're not i'm g and today i am doing another pup day of my mini golden doodle july i did about two videos um pertaining to her and people have been really requesting to see more updates so uh i'm here to deliver <laughs> but before i jump right into everything that's been going on with her don't forget to like comment and subscribe i make beauty lifestyle and luxury fashion type videos if that is your thing then join the family click the button right below so now july is nine months old i think the last video i did she was maybe six months or five months but she is now nine months, which is like 17 years old in like dog years. So she is a teenager and she really acts like it. Um, a lot has changed since the last video and then not a lot has changed too. So I'll jump right into like what she eats, the type of toys that she plays with, her kind of schedule, uh, the types of items that we bought and then i'll get into her, like her weight and like what she looks like and everything so first i will start with food we i know in the last video you probably heard her just bark she's gonna make a guest appearance i promise but in the last video i said that we were kind of having trouble with her food because we wanted her to be on a raw diet uh it's not really raw food it's just like meat like real food like a real food diet so she's not eating like dry kibble or anything like that um i just seen it like everywhere recommending that dogs eat that type of food so we did have her on kibble when we first got her because that's what the breeder had her eating and she gave us like a gallon of the food that she was feeding her so we did start her off with that but then like quickly we kind of stopped doing that and gave her uh real food so she was eating the farmer's dog and i know i said in the last video that it was expensive and i was trying to find an alternative so i found something and it just did not work out like she was still like would I'll go outside and eat the grass and like little stuff like that and that um one of our trainers had told us that she was doing that because she wasn't getting enough nutrients in her food so when we noticed that she was eating the grass again i was like okay we got to go back to the farmer's dog because when she was eating that she was like getting everything that she needed she would not eat the grass she her coat was healthy looking like it was just good so i did go back to the farmer's dog it is still expensive um it's a monthly fee i think i pay about 150 or so and it comes with like a month's supply of food and they just send it at the same time each month and it's been working out for us it comes frozen um i'll have it maybe up on the screen but it comes frozen, you put it in the refrigerator to thaw, and then you feed your dog whatever portion that they recommend for you to feed. It works for us. So I just had to bite the bullet and get that uh, food back. So that is the food that she's eating, and she does eat twice a day. Once in the morning when she wakes up, like after I take her out, and then in the evening around maybe 5 o'clock she eats again. So during the day, we kind of just do treats here and there, but she doesn't eat three times. Like she doesn't eat a lunch or anything like that. The next thing I wanted to discuss, I did mention in the last video that we had the Diggs crate. I think it's the Rebel crate and I'll have it here or here. Uh, we still use that and she still fits in it and we did get the small size. So that was a great investment. I love that. She goes in there not often i would say like if she's just getting too crazy and like too hyper i'll put her in there for like a little time out and then she does sleep in there overnight so that is our situation with the crate um she's not in the crate all day long i'm still home my husband's still home so we do have time to like let her out around the home and another thing home training so she has now been home trained on our main level not the entire main level but like our kitchen and our family room because we have like an open concept um layout so she can go from the kitchen to the family room and that is her her area of the home and she does not have any accidents in the house thank god she is potty trained i can say she's potty trained um if she does have an accident it's my fault because i didn't get her outside quick enough it's as simple as that she doesn't just pee in the house like I can't remember the last time she's had an accident in the house. So she's pretty good on that. She is potty trained. And for potty training, all we did was from the very beginning, we did not use puppy pads at all. We just made sure we took her out like on a schedule. Like maybe, it was a lot. Maybe like seven times a day, we just kept taking her outside and letting her know, okay, go potty, go potty. And we still do that. But I don't take her out as frequent. I think I take her out maybe four times a day and she knows to go potty and she we come back in 
So yeah, she is potty trained, thank God. Like I said, we did not use potty pads. We still do not use them. I have them, but we never use them because I didn't want her to get accustomed to using the bathroom in the house. And to each his own, it may work for you if you like an apartment and you don't have the um, option to keep going outside, then I totally understand. But for us, we did not want her to pee in the house. Like that was our main thing. So we didn't use puppy pads. We strictly outdoor potty trained and it worked. So I was mentioning the rubble crate the clearly loved play pen pet pen whatever it's called i really did love that and i'm really sad to say that we do not use that anymore and the only reason we don't use it anymore is because she jumps out of it um it is the 26 inch i think that's the inches and then they have a 34 inch i should have got the taller one because if it was a little bit taller she would not be able to jump out so she does she did jump out of it a few times so we just Said it was no point, no use if she's not going to be able to stay in it. So I am sad to say that we do not use that and it was very expensive. So I am going to sell it if anyone is interested. I really want someone local like in the DMZ area so they can pick it up. I will um, deassemble it. But yeah, I, I don't really want to mail it anywhere. So if you are in the DMV area, preferably Maryland, um, let me know if you are interested in buying it. I will sell it for half the price. Yeah, I'm really sad about that because I spent a lot of money on that thing. A lot of money. Yeah, so yeah, we don't use that anymore. But like I said, it's only the reason is that she jumps out of it. I still love it. It's cute. It fits our home decor. Like, it was perfect. It was really perfect. It just was a little too short for her. And she's like a high jumper. Like, she will flip in the air. Like, she just jumps so high. So yeah, sad to say we don't use that anymore. Uh, as far as like her energy level, she is still energetic but she is starting to calm down a little bit like before she would not sit on the couch in your lap like she would just want to be up everywhere and run in and jump she was just like a crazy puppy literally like she just had so much energy just a ball of energy but now if we're like watching tv she'll kind of come on the couch and sit for a little bit or she may fall asleep in your lap or now she's like calm calm so like she has her times of the day where she's like just a wild animal wants to run and jump everywhere but i would say for the most part she is starting to calm down which is just so great because i don't know what i was expecting but i just thought oh i'm getting a lap dog and she's gonna sit on my lap and she's gonna be calm and we're gonna watch movies and she's gonna be snuggly and cuddly and it was not that at all and people would scare me because i would ask like my friends people that i knew that had dogs and they would say like yeah it takes a year it takes two years and i was like i don't have that <laughs> like if it doesn't work out soon like yeah like it just it was too much it was too much energy and i am very laid back my son is the one that riles her up too so if you do have a puppy and like a small child i think that is a good mix because they can kind of play with each other and that is exactly what they do like he plays with her like he's a dog and she treats him like he's a puppy so they really do actually play he's five so she really loves him and he loves her so much and i was very shocked that he was the one that took to her the most. We all love her, but he is like, this is my dog. If you get rid of her, I'm going to be mad. If something happens to her, I'm going to be sad. Like, he is like, that is his sister. That's what he calls her, his sister. So, yeah, he really loves her. So, they are companions. And I do love that a lot. I can't even lie. I love that. When I was younger, my grandparents had a dog, and we were like this. Like, I grew up loving dogs, so that's what made me want to get one. So, I don't know why I was shocked that he would not fall in love with her. So, yeah, he loves her and she loves him. And they are, like, two peas in a pod. If you watch our first video with her, he was, like, kind of apprehensive and scared. And, like, what is going on? She's jumping on me. Now, he's jumping on her. Like, it's crazy to see the, the change of his reaction to her and like his interaction with her and everything so it's super cute and back to her energy level so i do have like a plethora of toys she's like a spoiled princess she has so many things that she barely even plays with but the main things that get her going are the tug toys so i highly recommend tug toys um especially if you have a puppy that is very energetic so i'll like play fetch with the tug toy i throw it she'll bring it back we'll tug on it back and forth with each other she gets aggressive she's growling like she really like that gets her going like that gets her energy out she loves that so definitely recommend tug toys um we have like stuffed toys i have a kong she really like sniffs around them sometimes she plays with them sometimes she doesn't she doesn't really have a favorite toy so i would say just try to get a 
bunch of different things and see what your dog takes to but like i said for her it's the tub toy and we have two of them like a smaller one where i can kind of pull and then like a big one where she just like throws it around and pulls on it herself and goes to town on it basically so i would highly recommend the tub toys if you're looking for something for playtime or to kind of decrease their energy I would recommend a tub toy for sure. And like I mentioned before, she is nine months now and she weighs 14 pounds. And I don't think she's going to get any bigger than that. And I'm very satisfied with that. Like I said, she is a mini golden doodle and her father, I want to say was like 12 or 13 pounds and her mom was about 20. So her father is a poodle, a toy poodle and her mom is a standard golden doodle. So she is... I guess many like she's on the smaller side of it and I'm not mad at all she I can still hold her if I need to she is not too big and she's not too tiny like she's literally the perfect size and like I said I don't think she's going to get any much bigger than that like the last time we went to the vet they said that she may gain like half a pound or something like that or might get a little taller a little bit bigger here and there but like that is her size basically like she's not going to get like drastically bigger than that so yes, so that is her size and I, honestly, I think that's it. Like as far as our routine, I still, I don't know if I mentioned before, but I don't really wake up super early for her to go out. She holds her pee for at least 12 hours. We kind of like have a bedtime for her. So she'll go into the crate around like nine after we take her to go pee. She'll go in the crate and then I'll probably get to her around seven in the morning and then I take her out. She has no accidents. Like I said, she's totally potty trained. She holds her pee. Um, so maybe from 9 to 7, she's she's good. So that is our schedule. I don't wake up at 5.30 anymore. Thank God I'm not. Um, you know, when we got her trained, the first time we had like someone come out and train her, we didn't do it for a long time. We probably did one session. But the lady told us that we are letting her run our lives. And it shouldn't be like that. So I kind of took that as a note. And I kind of made her fit into our schedule, which was the best thing that I could have did. Because at first, I was frantic. Like, I was sleep deprived. I was like, this is a bad idea. Like, I don't know what I got into. Like, it was just, it was a lot. And I was really regretting it. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I was very regretful at first because it was just too much. It was, I don't even know what I expected, but it just was a lot. And you can see in the video, I probably have the card up here, but... It was a lot <laughs> and now it has gotten a lot better with routine and just with time and she like calmed down a little bit and gotten used to us we've gotten used to her so it has gotten a lot better for sure <laughs> for sure because i told myself if it didn't get any better by year she, sis was gonna have to go she was gonna have to go because it just was too much and it wasn't fair to her and it wasn't fair to us but it is working out so i am happy to report that so we are adjusting i am here to report that everything is working out so yes i just had to give us some time i had to adjust and everything is fine so i'm trying to think if i forgot anything please let me know in the comments if there's anything else that you want to know i know a lot of people have been requesting like oh more videos more updates so that is really all i have right now but let me go get her so you guys can see her. it's the girl Say hi, July. I hope you guys can see her. Hi. Hey, yo. So here she is, and she is much bigger than the last time. And we did get her cut down. So I love this um, length of her fur. So it's kind of a little short, well, a lot shorter than what she looked like the last time. But we kept her hair on her head and like her ears kind of long, and her tail is so fluffy. Show your tail. It's so fluffy. Yes, so this is a Miss July. See how much calmer she is than before? I feel like before she was like all in my face and moving all around. Now she's just like looking at all the lights and the camera. You wanna get down? Do you wanna get down? You don't wanna say hi. You don't wanna say hi. There you go. There you go. So, yes, this is July, and I am going to be announcing the giveaway winner. So, the winner of my 1,000 subscribers luxury Louis Vuitton giveaway is actually 
Brit Monique MUA. I'll have it on the screen. So I did do a random comment picker online and she was chosen. Thank you so much Brit Monique for subscribing, commenting, and following all the giveaway rules and just showing me love. I really do appreciate it and please DM me on Instagram so that I can send you out your Louis Vuitton car holder. I will be doing many, many, many giveaways as long as I keep reaching milestones. Um, what's the next one? We got a thousand, five thousand? I'll say five thousand. So when I get to five thousand, I'll do another giveaway even better. I'm just going to keep giving back because you guys keep supporting me and you don't have to. And I've said it before. I'm very thankful for my subscribers, for people that tune in every time I post, for people that have the notifications on, for people that share the videos and comment and like. I am so thankful. I just never in a million years even thought that this was possible, like that I could do it. And I'm just so happy and proud of myself and just grateful for people that have supported me along the way. So yes, thank you so much for everyone who did enter the giveaway. Like I said, I'm gonna do plenty more. And please, Brit Monique MUA, don't forget to DM me so that I can send you out your items. And that will conclude today's video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next. Say bye, July.